are still in San Evaristo. We thought we'd take off, but uh, that has not happened. The forecast has really not given us much of a weather window to head north, especially since there are several places we'd like to go on our way north, and this wind will keep us from visiting them, and so we thought, why rush through them if uh, we can't stop and enjoy them? So we are still here in San Evaristo waiting for these winds to settle out. These are the northerlies that are supposed to be done here in April, but they are not. The anchorage has started to fill up. There's one, two, three, four, five boats over on this side. There's another little gust of wind. Um, and then uh, there's the town and a handful of boats on this side as well. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six more. So we've embraced the fact that we're still here and started doing some projects. We have been toiling with the back deck project, so we decided to make that a priority. Here is the back hatch that Jim was sanding up here uh, during a lull in the action. But I'll take you to the back. It's kind of a mess right now, but highly optimistic that we are on the path to wrapping this baby up. Our rugs that cover up our ugly back deck. And here it is with a couple, two, three, maybe more layers of epoxy on the deck as we continue to work through this project. Uh, we also had a small little segment out here that had never gotten done just outside the door. So we've uh, tackled that as well. So wrapping that up on this back deck, we'll finish up all of the work that we need to do here. So this has been our focus since we are here in San Evaristo for a while. It looks like tomorrow will be calm, so we'll have some time to poke around the town and get out and uh, wander a bit and feel comfortable leaving the boat in all of this wind. Um, and then that would be Monday and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are supposed to blow again. And then Friday looks good. So we haven't gotten far from Isla San Francisco, but we're making the most of it and you just got to work with the weather. And so that's what we're up to right now. Today is our calm day in the Anchorage before the winds kick up again tomorrow. We are actually facing what east instead of north, which is what we've been facing the entire time we've been here um, as the winds have been coming out of the north. But now we're going to take the little tender and put it down and uh, go walk around uh, in town here in San Evaristo. We've been biding our time doing little painting projects. So on the bow is the underside of the hatch that we primered this morning. And we did one coat of primer for the white all grip paint that goes on in the cockpit. So that's been our morning project. So now it's time to go play. along the shoreline and check it out. We're up at the Tienda. Like 
canned goods, but no produce. garden we came across. Right here at the salt flats. Sierra's and Maggie May. It's the restaurant here in this bay. And um, yeah, we're gonna we'll give the ceviche a, a try. try. Yeah, we were and here. Some guacamole. We were here the other night and it was it was okay. It was fine. We met some other cruisers here earlier for a beer and it was great to the, the camaraderie with cruising and we'll talk more about that later. I got some things to say about that that's really positive and wonderful. Uh, but all the reviews said the ceviche was phenomenal, and a couple other cruisers mentioned that to us. So we are trying the mixed uh, fish and shrimp ceviche, along with some uh, guacamole that looks like actually a guac and pico de gallo mixed, and and, uh, and fresh chips. Yum. Let's dig in. There's a couple big old birds up there. We are at the lighthouse on the point of San Evaristo. There's a view of the bay, or part of the bay. And this fabulous point that is protecting us, or going to protect us in the next round of winds, And how many boats, Jim? Fourteen. Fourteen boats here 13 now. Thirteen sailboats and one power boat. Hmm. Wonder who that is. Anyway. <laughs> well, here we are at this point where the light is overlooking the anchorage. Fourteen boats, one power boat, thirteen sailboats. More normal than not. A nice, beautiful, calm day. Expecting up to 30 knots of wind tomorrow. So everyone is kind of hiding, I think, or finding the right spot for them uh, for this weather. This Norte that's going to blow through for the next couple of days. 
Um, and we could have moved on today. It's been nice and calm. And I think we had the same thought as most of the boats here in the Anchorage. And that is move on to where? Uh, Aqua Verde is only about, I think, 40 miles or so north of here. And that has good protection, though maybe not as good as here. But there's a couple other anchorages along the way there that don't offer as good a protection as here. And uh, you would probably have felt compelled today to skip those. I'm not sure those are going to be very good. Uh, the books talk about the points are a little bit smaller and in the strong nortes, the swell can wrap around and make the anchorages rolly. So we decided to stick it out here and work on the back deck. We went and had our dinner. I think you saw the <laughs> ceviche and guacamole. It was really, really good. So the ceviche may be their thing. Well, we had this, the mixed ceviche, fish and shrimp, the guacamole with pico de gallo mixed in, of course, the chips with it, uh, Pacifico beer, and two limonai, limonade minerales, uh, lemon, uh, mineral <laughs> lemonades, right? Sparkling lemonade. Sparkling lemonade, okay. I can say it in Spanish and not English. That, that's a good sign, right? The total bill, including uh, tip, $25. Uh, for that dinner so that was pretty nice but here we are look how beautiful it is time to go find our way back to the tender and back to sea venture for the evening and kind of relax and plan to stay on board tomorrow for all the wind I think Here's a sweep of the bay. We've got the foothills in the foreground and the Sierra de la Giganta mountain range in the background. Here's the inner bay if you, to give it a name. And here's the outer bay and the big point that protects us all from the Nortes. And that's uh, San Juan... San Jose. San Jose Island on the far side there. And San Jose the other Channel side is the water. Of the water channel right? here. And way off in the distance there is that Isla San Francisco. And beyond that, Partida Island. Look at this beautiful evening with this pink sky as the sun is setting over uh, San Evaristo. Lots of boats here in the anchorage as we wait for this weather that's going to arrive. See the sun kind of setting on the other side of these Sierra de la Giganta Mountains. Let's see if I can show you the other side. Sea Venture is a little bit in the way here. A little bit of that. So anyway, a lovely evening. The winds are just starting to pick up, but probably no more than five or six knots at the moment coming from the east. Want you close and maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile, and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. 